So Hikaru's coughing at everybody. <coughs> Excuse me, like I am now. Moving his chest pieces, shaking hands with people. And he didn't, he didn't look well. And sure enough, I think on day two or three of the contest, Hikaru tested positive for COVID-19. Immediately disqualified and quarantined to his room. So all the fans are like, oh no, he was up and coming and was coming back and was only a point and a half behind the leaders. He can make that up in a day. So not only were we disappointed, but Hikaru was disappointed. And one of the reasons why he didn't play over the board in person in a foreign country for a year and a half is because he was terrified of COVID. He's very successful. He has a wonderful, very successful stream on Twitch. 10,000 people watch him every day on when he streams live for eight, nine hours. He's online playing chess and very wonderful and very entertaining. And some say worth $50 million. If you Google Hikaru Nakamura on Google, you'll see that they say he is worth $50 million. $50 million man on Twitter. Is there anybody out there who happens to know people at the State Department or the U.S. Embassy in Warsaw, Poland, who can help me with figuring out the appropriate steps for getting out of Poland once my quarantine is up, since no one seems to be able to give me any proper information? Now that's just super sad and terrifying. You're stuck in a foreign country. You're not feeling well, perhaps. You've tested positive for COVID. Your dreams of coming back over the board and facing Magnus Carlsen have dissipated. You're kicked out of the tournament because you're sick. And you just want to get home to California. And nobody's telling you the how or the why to get there. And he posted that this morning at 6.30, 7 o'clock. 